Austin, just just how how different is it coming off of a performance where offensively you, you kind of put everything together for really the first time this year? Um, it feels good, you know. Uh, you got to enjoy the victories. Uh, we enjoyed it all last night and today. Um, now it's time to move on and get better. And our, fo our main focus is on Mississippi State now. How, how much does a, a, a game like that just do? I mean, I know you were already confident, but is it, does it change your mindset and just make you a little bit more that way? Well, yeah, it just, it just shows us, our, us offense players that if we execute and do our job, that we can be uh, really explosive and put up a lot of points. and. Um, Move the ball very well. Awesome. You did it from the second half in the Mercer game. But your, your thoughts on your first full game at tackle? Um, I thought I, I thought I played really well. Um, I, I believe I executed. Uh, obviously, there's a lot I can get better at, um, and I'll just keep trying to improve. I also played some uh, left tackle later in the game. I played some guard in the Rebel packages. So I mean. Uh, just experience and wherever the team needs me, I'll be ready to go. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. I should know our offense by now. So uh, I felt like it went pretty well. And the, the, the knowledge you have in, after so much time at center in, in terms of fronts, what you're seeing, how much does that help you when you when you slide outside? Uh, it helps a lot. It, it uh, I mean, because at center, you got to know what everybody's doing on every play. So therefore, if I move to another position, I'll know what I'm doing because I've already had to learn all that stuff. Now the techniques and stuff are a little different. And obviously you're dealing with different types of players, uh, pass rushers versus big heavy guys. So um, it's different, but it helps definitely knowing the uh, plays. How did uh, Casey do it, Sam? I think he played very well. Uh, he he uh, communicated well. Um, I think he, we got hats on hats most of the whole night, and I thought he played well. You two guys had basically two centers on the field, Braden, a veteran guy. Um, the communication, it, is that a strong point now, do you think, for this offensive line, especially the right side? Uh, I believe it is. You know, uh, we get each other on the same page, and if uh, the young guys that are not as experienced ever need help, I feel like we get them on the right page and um, just got to be leaders and, and uh, bring the whole offense with us. When you saw what Mississippi State did to LSU a week ago, was that sort of like, oh, wow, this is going to be a pretty good opponent? Yeah, um, Mississippi State is really good. Uh, I guess, obviously, they didn't play as well this past week, but they dominated against LSU. Their defense plays really hard. Um, they're really good, and they got some explosive players on offense. So I think they're a very good team um, when they execute and play well, just like I think we are when we execute and play well. So I think it'll be a good matchup. We just got to get back to work this week. Uh, they're just really they just play really hard and they got some good good talent up front uh, but the biggest thing is they they play hard um, they play balls to the wall every play the, the running game you know you guys talked about kind of focusing on that one and improve it uh, some different ways in the running game with Eli Stowe being involved right. uh, but did you did you feel like you guys improved in, in the running game portion of things yeah the absolutely uh, well obviously when you get explosive plays in the passing game and um, explosive uh, outside runs. It opens up the inside run some. So when we're able to do that, we're able to then hand the ball off. And I thought we did a lot. I think the offensive line played um, a lot harder. Or not a lot harder. We played hard all along. But I felt like we really played with an edge on Saturday night. Those, those big plays in the passing game, you know, as an offensive line group, that we, we talked about it. Obviously, skill guys get energized. How much does that energize you guys? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, you, uh, that's the less of the field you have to go down and make big plays, and it gives you momentum for the next play, and you can get down there and try to punch it in. What, what is it about carry on that makes him such a good short yardage runner? Uh, he's just very smart with the ball. Like he, I feel like he knows, um, he knows where the ball needs to be hit. He's very good with reading with his eyes. Um, whenever he gets the ball, he's patient, and uh, he makes the right decisions most of the time. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex.